Okay, this tutorial will show you how to take the flying carpet video and import it into Flash and um, animate it. So I'm going to start off by making a new uh, ActionScript 3 file. Um, and I'm going to import the video, but I'm not going to import it directly into the main timeline. First of all, I'm going to insert a new symbol, a new movie clip symbol, and I'm going to call this carpet. You see here that I'm editing the carpet symbol, and it's here that I'm going to import the video. So I'll choose File and Import, choose Import Video, and we'll browse and find the file that I need, which is magiccarpet.flv, and I'm going to tell Flash to embed it in the timeline, choosing this option here. Click on Next. You've got some options here to choose um, from. I'm just going to leave the default, except the audio. I'm going to take that off because I don't need the audio track. Click on Next. And the Flash imports all of the video frames um, into the timeline of this movie clip symbol. And if we play that back, we'll see the video. And it's also worth noting that this um, symbol is 501 frames long so you see that here it lasts for 501 frames before the video will rewind back to the beginning and start again okay so i've imported my video now i'm going to navigate back to scene one so over here on the left i'm going to click on scene one back to where we started from okay and in scene one there's nothing there okay so we need to get the symbol that we just created the carpet symbol Okay, there's it there in the library, and I'm going to click and drag and drop it there on the stage. Okay, let's just rename layer 1 to carpet. And because this is a movie clip symbol, we can motion tween it and do all the normal things that we can do to, um, to a symbol. So if I wanted to, uh, for instance, have me flying in from the left, I could happily create a motion tween and have me fly in onto the screen like so maybe stay there for a few seconds and then maybe fly off somewhere else um, let me see fly off over to the right here so let's just play that back now you'll notice that um, the video doesn't actually play when I play it back within flash I actually have to test the movie so I'll do control test movie in Flash Professional and when you play it back like that you will to actually see the video okay so that kind of shows you what you can do I'm going to now add a new layer in make sure this layer is in the background and I'm going to put some sky in here so I'm going to um, again import a graphic this time to the stage and it is a long panoramic image of the sky Okay, there we go. And what I could do is get that to motion tween. So let's just do that. I'll choose create motion tween. It tells me here that I need to convert this object to a symbol, but Flash will actually do that for me. I don't have to do it you know, manually. Okay, and then just motion tween it in the same way that you would do with any object. Just move it like so. And Flash will motion tween it. So when I play that back, you see they have the flying carpet flying along and the sky moving in the background as well. And of course you can add some more layers into your Flash movie. Um, perhaps having other objects flying across the sky, something for me to avoid. Okay, you probably just saw me ducking there. So you can uh, have some objects flying towards me, like a flock of birds, um, an aeroplane, whatever you like. Um, and compose it together a whole bunch of different things animation still images video etc all inside flash okay so that's the end of that little tutorial